Hi everyone, this is Professor Evolutionator. I want to talk about the Gumshoes GX and the Young Goose from Collection Sun. Return of the Free Attacks, which is very awesome. And it says here the official Pokemon card website has revealed Young Goose and Gumshoes GX for Collection Sun. They also revealed clearer images of some previously revealed cards, as you can see below, which is awesome. So we can see a clearer image of them. Very nice. The clearer image of Alolan Meowth reveals free attack. Costs will return to TCG, which is awesome. Meowth's Fury Swipes cost zero energy to use. The last sets to feature free attacks were during Heart Gold and Sol Silver Era. The website says that only Alolan Pokemon will have fr free attacks, which is unfortunate. It was also revealed that Vickervolt promo will be given out to those who purchase a booster box of Collection Sun or Collection Moon. Unfortunately, I probably won't get one as those boxes are quite expensive. It says here in Japan, the sets will be released on December the 9th and will feature over 120 cards together. Internationally, they will be combined into our first Sun and Moon set on February the 3rd. Thanks goes to Bangaris and Andrew C for the translations. Okay, first off, we've got a Lolan Meowth, which is a dark type, HP 70, basic Pokemon for Fairy Swipes, which is a free energy cost. It doesn't cost anything, so it does 10 times damage. Flip free coins, the attack does 10 damage times the number of heads. And then next up, we've got a Grubbin which is HP 70, a basic Pokemon, which takes two colors energy for Vice Grip, which does 30 damage, it says here, but on the card, yeah, it says 20 damage. So I wonder if there was a mistake in the typing here. And then we got Young Goose, which is a colors 70 health. It's a basic Pokemon for one colors. A tackle does 10 damage. For two colors, Bart does 20 damage, and Bart is usually a dark move so it's surprising to see it as a, a normal type again and then we got gum shoes which ability in inspect once during your turn before you attack you may have your opponent reveal his or her hand for free colorless energy flying headbutt does 100 damage for one colorless gum chance gx does 10 plus damage this attack does 50 more damage for each energy attack to your opponent's active Pokemon. You can't use more than one GX attack a game, so that might be useful if you've got an opponent with high energy costs for their moves. Then we've got Lurantis GX, which is a Grass HV210. It evolves from Fomantis. It takes a Grass energy for Flower Supply which does 40 damage, attached to basic energy from your discard pile to your Pokemon any way you like. Then for two grass and one colorless, Solar Blade does 120 damage, your 30 damage from this Pokemon. Then for one grass, Chlorosize GX, 50 times damage, this attack does 50 damage times the number of grass energy attached to this Pokemon. You can't use more than one GX attack again. For each game, you can't use more than one. And then we also got this awesome artwork, which is very nice. And then I... one thing I noticed that mostly the totem Pokemon have GX cards. And the starters, I haven't seen anything else with the GX cards, which is interesting. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Goodbye.